So the advice for today is to break things down into smaller chunks, into pieces. So what I mean by this is all of software you ever make uh, or you ever should make, no matter how complicated, no matter how difficult, uh, a good developer always looks at the problem, looks at the overall, and then just simply breaks that work down into smaller chunks, tackles those small chunks of code, and then is capable of rebuilding those chunks of code, those blocks into the final product. And when you learn to do this, and when you do it by nature, it doesn't matter the size of the problem, it no longer overwhelms you. So if I come to you and said, right, I want now a, uh, a feature game making that's gonna rival Call of Duty, um, and I want it built, um, and that you start with nothing more than that as your requirement, uh, the very first thing you need to do is to really break that down and start just breaking it down. And what you'll learn is, um, if you simply half the amount of work and break things into two steps, so you take, say, a pie, and you cut it in half. You've now got half a pie. You cut it again, you've got a quarter. Again, you've got an eighth. By the time you simply half things a few times, uh, you'll be down to very small chunks. So you don't actually need to split things down that much to break down the biggest amount of work into something small. Um, so what you really need to do is simply take a problem, like, say, a game development of an entire game, and separate it into, one, I guess, a programming concern, um, and two a, well, there's a lot more than programming that goes into a game, but then you'd have your graphics side, you'd have your sound side. It depends how big your game is. Simply define those top sections first, and then we'll go, right, we're software developers, we need to do the software side. Then you'll make a decision. You may change along the lines, but make a plan, stick to it. So we'd say, we're gonna use Unreal Engine. So I know we've gotta make Unreal Engine, I know we've gotta make some backing engines, we've gotta make some menu commands, we've gotta make a command, we've gotta make a, multiplayer online so split those into chunks and now tackle say the menu system or the underlying game engine um, and split that down a bit further so in the menu you'll need a start menu a pause menu uh, login uh, you know and continue to break these down into chunks until you find that now you have this little piece of code that you simply need to tackle and focus on that and as my previous advice stated pick that as your then goal you need to now make this menu system um, and stick to it and work through it don't worry about all the other concerns right now. Have them aware in your head that they've got to work together and things like that. But in general, pick the small chunk of work, accomplish that small chunk, then move on to the next pieces um, and build all these chunks together. Um, and once you're done with that, um, you can either have a team doing those chunks for you and then you build them all together and you, you bring all the teams together to integrate. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you do that. Um, but the, the underlying message I'm trying to get across here is simply to um, break things down into chunks and you'd be surprised how well that works and how well it really helps you tackle any amount of problem. Uh, if you take a really small problem, um, like say the calculator app we made in a very early video, and we wanted to break that down into smaller chunks, we'd simply start with, well, we know the calculator has to do functions and it's got to operate, but before it can do that, we need some UI. So the UI needs some buttons. It needs a, a form and some buttons and the buttons need hooking up. But if you just break it down into a few chunks, the first step is to simply get some buttons on the screen. So you start with that, you focus on that, and you accomplish that, you chuck some buttons on the screen. Now you move on to the next step. Those buttons need to do something when you click them. So accomplish that step. And then once they click and do something, you then need to start thinking about the engine that brings them together and ultimately to calculate the result. But as you do those chunks and you bring them together, you'll find it's much easier than trying to think of the whole calculator in one go um, without you know defining them in small chunks uh, and it like I say it's a really useful uh, technique that I think I just use naturally so it's hard to you know I've had to really think about how I tackle complex problems to to then realize that it's basically by breaking them down into chunks so that's really the advice is to take anything you work on and if you're if you feel comfortable simply accomplishing the task go ahead uh, but other than that don't be afraid of if you're not aware of something or there might be a challenge in the future. Simply break it down into chunks, work through all the chunks you know how to do, and then tackle the small bits of chunks that are left that you're not sure how to do or how to work, and, and just focus on them. Make that your goal and really push through and, and focus on accomplishing that. And hopefully you'll find that now bigger problems are, are much easier to, to solve.